Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. The time is 7.30 a.m. here in warming up but ice rink Salem, Oregon. Yeah. Our current temperature, believe it or not, is 41 degrees and that would be five Celsius, but the winds came in, and so it feels like it's 34 degrees or one Celsius. And we have a high today of 47 or eight Celsius, and a low of 40 or four Celsius. Now, we did have the ice storm come through overnight um, yesterday late afternoon and I guess during the night we were supposed to get snow it doesn't look like we got any snow but I just took Ellie out well she went out and pottied I don't know probably around I don't know three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and uh, maybe four and she seemed to do okay, but she just wanted to go out again, and um, she couldn't stand up on the grass. Her legs went out. It is like an ice rink out there. And so I, she didn't go very far out into the grass, and she pottied, and then I she acted like she was going to walk farther out in the yard and so yep I got on the on the ice and was trying to herd her back in but not quickly because I didn't want her running because she would have fell and uh, but I got her back in safe and sound so if it stays like this the next time she goes out she will be leashed so that I can stand right beside her and over to the side where it's not a lot of ice over there so she can go potty if it hasn't um, defrosted. <laughs> so we're kind of out of the deep freeze but into the freezer and hopefully we jump into the refrigerator quickly and then out of the refrigerator and <laughs> stay there. <laughs> um, they, school, they closed all the schools today and there has been a few cars, very few, going past here in, on the road that they're going, it appears maybe Tops 20 miles an hour. Yeah, very slow. And you can hear the crunching out there of the ice. And it's more like um, a black ice. And so the ice is very shiny. Very shiny. So we got AB ice everywhere. <laughs> but things are starting to thaw. Um, it's starting to drip, 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 and we are supposed to have rain coming in. Now, I don't know. With the windshield, who knows what's going to happen today. So, that's an update on what's going on here. So, I am continuing my journey with Becky Sloan on Craftably's A Dreamy Retreat by, um, I forgot his name, um, Oh my gosh, it just jumped out of my uh, Gino Peoples. Um, it is a 42 by 24 inch inches square drills. And let me get you a picture. So I have completed this portion over here. And now I'm working my way up in the purple tree here. And then a little bit more of the white. Yeah. 
So, um, also, I don't know why, but hopefully I have extra drills because I have been getting a lot of these types of drills. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it or not. I'm going to put it up here. See that hole? Yeah, a lot of the drills have that. And then I'm getting a lot of the garbage stuff. Yeah, so I don't know why it is on this painting. I wanted to show you that. And it's not just in one specific color. It's different colors. So I'm really having to watch, um, you know, the drills. And I do have my dollar store readers on. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to tell that until I saw a gap in the, um, in putting down the drills. I've also got quite a few that have tags on them. And let me see if I've saved any of those so I can show you what I'm talking about. Here's one. Yeah, so I'm having to watch those. Just an FYI of what's going on with this canvas. But I love the canvas. It's turning out very, very well. Um, and like I said, as long as I have enough drills to complete it. So, um... I did complete all of this. <laughs> Most of this was um, color blocking. The fours and the twos, mostly fours up here, which I'm gonna be getting into here. So I'm hoping to complete this section today. I don't have anything on the agenda, so. And I'm drinking my coffee out of my, I just want to drink coffee and pet my dog. Actually, it's, I just want to drink my coffee and cuddle with my dog. Because <laughs> it's cold. Okay, so let's get going on this thing. Oh, and what am I warming? Same old, same old. Um, I have this under my um, uh, candle lamp. It's just the vanilla and butterscotch wax melt. Yep, so I got that going today. And let's see where I want to start. I think I'll start in the yellows with an H. And let's see which one is H. And that's number four. 40 and it's a 783 and that is medium topaz topaz and there we go Yeah, the, it's funny because on this canvas, I don't know, I was working on this far part and I was glanced over here and it's like, wow, those trees right there really come alive. Yeah, nice. Very beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to move you over just a little bit. So yeah, the weather is going to be interesting today. Hopefully the ice doesn't melt real fast because that can cause some flooding. And I did notice we've got a drip, drip, drip on David's side of the ceiling on our 
um, um, ah, on our deck out here. So I don't know if it's melting up there where Kevin's at on his. So hopefully it doesn't get real heavy. <laughs> Did you eat your breakfast, Ellie? Do you need your kibbles? Yep, you did. Okay, come here. There you go. There you go, girl. I slipped slider. You were ice skating this morning, weren't you? Yeah, I don't need her getting injured. she can wait to go back outside for a while till it maybe thaws out a little bit. I was reading on Facebook somebody posted that if you mix vinegar and water and spray it down that's supposed to help with the ice rink or you can use Dawn dish soap and mix it with some water and vinegar I think I don't know I read that yesterday I think that was the recipe. But yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to wait a few hours before she goes back out. So hopefully she can hold it until it gets a little bit better out there. Or I guess I could go out and shovel a path for her and stay right with her so that she doesn't get off the path. The problem is that her potty area where she likes to potty is clear across the yard. And she doesn't really like to potty anywhere else. Luckily, she didn't go very far. But she sure acted like she wanted to. I am going to have to move this just... stuff here. My daughter-in-law made chicken noodle soup last night and uh, so she brought me down some. So I'm going to have that today. Soup and sandwich is what I'm going to have. Yeah, she, um... I make a chicken noodle soup and they used to love my 
chicken noodle soup. And so whenever I made it, I was, you know, always give them a bunch to eat. And so then my daughter-in-law, she says, can I have your recipe? Well, I really don't have a recipe, but I can show you or tell you, you know, what I put in it, you put it into your taste or take things out or, you know, whatever. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, we're going to go over to Jay's. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of coming down with a bit of a cold, or it could just be the the weather. All right, the J is number 39, which is 782. Dark Topaz. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, um, I gave her, told her the ingredients that I put in it and blah, blah, blah. So she made it and she said, but it doesn't taste like yours. <laughs> so I said, you know, you just have to practice with the recipe and mine turns out different every time I make it. And my... Oh, there's an H I missed, of course. So the basic ingredients that I put in it, um, of course, is... Um, I used to... When I first started making it, when the kids were little... I would take a whole chicken, what do they call those? Um, I don't know, some kind of chicken, and I would boil it. And then, <clears throat> um, let that cool. And then take that as part of my broth. And I would put the um, different noodles, you know, it could be the, <coughs> excuse me, let me take some more coffee. Um, okay, what's the cheese? 30, which is 728. Not on my list. All right, 30. I have to change colors quite a bit here. Um, and then I would put in some kind of noodles. I either use the egg noodles, I would use the spiral noodles, whatever I had on hand, that's what went in the soup. And I would add some bouillon cubes, bouillon cubes to it, a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, and then I also shredded some carrots and put it in and then as the years went by I decided I'm gonna put some celery in it 
I love cooked celery. Oh my God. I know it doesn't have a taste, but I don't know. There's just something about having celery. And then I also added a little bit of onions to it. And then I, instead of using those whole chickens and boiling it and whatnot, um, then I switched over to chicken breast. And so I would boil that up and uh, use that. And then I started using um, chicken gravy mix, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. It's whatever I have on hand. <clears throat> That's what I put in there, so... Yeah, some things just do not have recipes. I I just make things up. And what got me started? Ah, there's another H. Um, years ago, back in the early 70s, knew this older couple kind of lived on a, well, they did live on a farm. They raised chickens and whatnot, but they had to stay for dinner and they had homemade chicken soup. And, oh my gosh, it was so good. And I had never had that before. And she did put carrots in hers. She put celery in it. Um, Yeah, so it's kind of a, chicken noodle soup with vegetables kind of thing, but it was so good, and hers had a lot of broth, and I would assume when you have a big family, you know, you get a lot of broth. <laughs> That can fill you up. But yeah, so I just started experimenting around with it and what I could add to it. And, and when I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of canned stuff. You know, you didn't eat TV dinners or that kind of thing. I mean, you had home-cooked meals. And, um, I had never heard of tomato soup with rice. And I don't know, somebody I knew must have had it. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, that's ingenious. I'm going to add rice to my tomato soup. So, well, you know, now they make tomato rice soup. But Oh, I just threw that drill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, 
I don't cook like what I did when the, you know, kids were growing up. Hit and miss around here most of the time. But I love making stuff in the slow cooker or um, soups, stews. Oh, I love stews. Stews are my favorite. Um, and my stews are, well, generally it has the same ingredients every time, but just throw it in there. But I think most people now, or maybe not most, but a lot of people now buy <clears throat> things that are already cooked up and, you know, throw it in the microwave or throw it in the oven. You can buy just about anything anymore. Don't need a lot of culinary skills. This is farther up the canvas. A little bit harder for me to see, but that's okay. All right, let's see. What is S? Let's check out S. Thirty-six. And that is 7.43. Let's see if it's on my list. Pale yellow. They call me mellow yellow. So sorry for Ellie this morning. I can't keep thinking about that. Her legs going out. She kept her balance pretty good, but she does not need any added stress on her legs. I don't think she likes the new sheets that I bought because <clears throat> I noticed she doesn't want to crawl underneath the blankets now. She's used to my old sheets, which are, which I prefer too. They're more like flannel sheets and these are not. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really caring for these new sheets I bought. So when I change the bedding on Friday, I'm gonna put back on my other sheets. My son bought me those a couple years ago for Christmas. I should have known. I thought these new sheets that I bought 
were the kind that I wanted and they're really not glad that I didn't pay a whole lot because yeah they're not what I wanted Target usually has the sheets that I like and every once in a while they have them on sale but I have not been into Target in years I do not like Target not my favorite store. <clears throat> but maybe it's changed since I haven't been in it for, oh my gosh, it's probably been... I don't know. I can't remember the last time I was in the years. Yeah, when I was in some knitting, um, watching some knitty, knitting um, YouTubes years ago, they said that Target was carrying yarn now. So I went to Target. <clears throat> I couldn't find it in their crafting section. So um, I asked someone, do you have yarn? And he said, if you want yarn, go across the street to Joanne's. <laughs> Like, okay. <laughs> oh. I just have never found that Target really has a big selection of stuff. And I have a hard time navigating their store. The one here, anyway. It just makes no sense to me. But we now have two targets. And one is over by Hobby Lobby and Joann's. And the other one is across town by Michael's. Now, I was in... Well, actually, the last time I was in Target was the one um, in Kaiser, out by Michael's, and that's where I got my Harry Potter mug. Hmm, do I want to do twos next? 35. And that is 739. What color is that? Ultra, let's see. Very light tan. I think I'll do that color. 35. Yeah, my Amazon order <laughs> is in Portland <laughs> on its way to Salem. However, <laughs> it may not make it. I'm hoping that Amazon is not traveling in this weather. This cord is... Whoops. Sorry, folks. I do. Uh oh, we turned the camera around. You're looking at my ceiling now. There we go. Now we're back in business. How in the heck did that happen? No 
Zoe's making a bed on the couch. She's moving her blankets around. I can hear her. Nope, she must not have. Uh, she's looking outside like, yep, I want to go outside. And it's like, no, you don't. So they told my daughter-in-law not to come in today. And my son, they told him not to come in today, but he works up in Hillsboro and yeah. I've been a train wreck to travel because the storm is coming from the south, so it hits us first and then Portland next. open her water. <laughs> She's a loud gulper. <laughs> Sometimes during the night, she gets her water. I, she wakes me up gulping her water. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not taking you out, Ellie. I don't want you ice skating or me. So I did a little bit more knitting yesterday. I don't have a whole lot, but let me show you what the yarn looks like. I haven't done a whole lot and it's like 155 stitches across, so. show you what it's going to look like. Okay. Here's the design it makes. It's kind of like, I don't know, little flowers or something. Yeah, I'm still working on the border. very far <clears throat> so I'm thinking I think I'm gonna do some knitting this morning instead of wait until in the afternoon watch some TV and watch the snow melt we're supposed to get rain and with the temperature being what it is, yeah, we're out of the snow zone.
<coughs> Boy, I tell you, my sinuses and whatnot. Ugh. Hopefully it's not a cold and it's just the weather change. Yeah, I don't mind when it snows, but boy, this ice, ugh, what a nightmare. I'm trying to work around all my camera and my light and all that. Oh my gosh. Diamonds by Tita did a kit up for her little project that she, or, um, diamond painting she's going to be doing. It's from Diamond Art Club. <laughs> it's an I <laughs> with butterflies. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that having an eyeball stare at me while I'm diamond painting. <laughs> so I am looking forward to her journey on that. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. She says she likes eyes. Ah, they keep hitting my light. How funny. Oh, I think I'm going to put my hummingbird feeder back out. Maybe the hummingbirds will come back. They're in hiding right now. I don't know where they went. Oh, there's another drill with a, a hole in it. So I'm going to since it's warmed up, because before, I mean, it would freeze within, you know, 20 minutes. It would be frozen solid. And that's not good to give the hummingbirds frozen water. So now that it's cleared up a bit, warmed up, maybe they'll come out of hiding. I've been on here. Oh my gosh, 45 minutes. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll go get another cup, cup of coffee. And yeah, watch some more YouTube. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, London City Walks posted a a new video at Horse Guard, so oh, I want to watch that. So I'm going to let you go. And thanks for stopping by. And I'll try to post a little video of our 
ice melt <laughs> out of the deep freeze. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon.